Allah is revealed in the Quran as an amalgam of Hinduism gods, Buddhist gods, Mithraic gods, Greek gods, mystery religions, and there's a little sprinkling of Judaism and Christianity. And many of us in the West naively think that Allah, who inspired Muhammad, could perhaps be the God of the Bible. But God is revealed in his word as a holy, sovereign, all-powerful God of the universe who has nothing to do with the idolatry and paganism of all those roots that are reflected in the Quran of Allah. Allah has no son, the Quran says. Allah rejects the Trinity, the Quran says. Allah is the pagan idol god of Muhammad's tribe before he was born. We have to realize that contrary to popular notion, Muhammad didn't think all this up. He just codified it. He just organized it. He made it monotheistic, but he kept all the paganism of those Arabic Ishmaelites and Edomites. He inherited it and harnessed it. That's Allah. No son, no triune god with a pagan, idolatrous background. But the God of the Bible is a God who came to earth in human flesh as the incarnate Son of God. Finally, Allah tells Muslims, don't take Jews and Christians for friends, but slay the idolaters or infidels wherever you find them. Fight against those who believe not Allah nor his truth to the last day. By the way, a hundred times it says that, not once. I mean, we don't just twist around the Quran, try and find something mean to say about these peace-loving people. And I'm not talking about the peace-loving people. I'm talking about the institution of Islam. One hundred times in the Quran, it makes statements like I just read to you. But Jesus, the incarnate God, said, Go into all the world, preach the gospel of my peace and my substitutionary death, to all creatures, and by your love, everybody will know you're my disciple. Is the God of Islam the God of the Bible? No. Is the Jesus of the Quran the Jesus of the Bible? No. A defective Jesus, a non-genuine Jesus, produces a non-genuine salvation. Believe the truth. God wants all to know him. This knowledge is essential to salvation. The Jews are his chosen people, and those who embrace Christ are his dearly beloved children that he gave his blood to purchase. 